Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Edwin, I'm the Pretty Green Vinyl Guy, and today I got another vinyl update for you all. So it's pretty funny, I was looking at the last video I just posted, and I had chocolate on the corner of my mouth. And I was watching the video, I was like, what the heck is that? And it looks like I have like a mole or something, so I think people were probably too polite to say anything, but it was chocolate. What are you gonna do? Chocolate. Anyway, it's uh, morning here on the west coast of Canada. We, we've we been living in smoke from uh, the fires down south of the border from California, Oregon, Washington State. But we finally have some blue sky today, so cheers to that. I've got a little bit of a vinyl update. And um, yeah, just while I got it here, this is what I used to clean my records. This is the Spin Clean. If you guys are familiar with this, I, I think, you know, for the money, it's the best, uh, the, you know, I'd like to have some expensive vinyl cleaner, but yeah, you know, Spin Clean works good. Got to use the distilled water. I don't know why I'm showing you that, but it was there. Anyway, I've got a uh, couple of used records that I picked up and some new vinyl releases that came out recently. Man, I was looking at, okay, you've got two more record store day drops. You're gonna have Black Friday, something's gonna drop. And there's like about another, well, 10 to 12 releases coming out. I see there's a Tom Petty Wildflowers finally uh, coming out on vinyl, so you don't have to buy that box set. And uh, you got the Lennon spread. Man, so much. <laughs> um, anyway, here we go. Uh, don't have any heart. I have a heart. But I don't have any heart. But I, I figure this is the one you gotta have. This is their Dreamboat Annie. That's uh, the Wilson sisters. And... Um, yeah, this is uh, interesting. The heart was from Seattle, of course. And um, this is, you know, I guess kind of a bit of a... Uh, I love the use of the repeating songs, right? Like the Dreamboat Annie, how it comes in and out, and Crazy For You, Magic Man. Um, this is a really good album, actually. You know, something I was never really uh, knew that much about back in the day. So this was um, actually recorded in Vancouver, right? This is on Mushroom Records. So yeah, these guys were from Seattle, but it's kind of neat that they, you know, I guess they would come up to Vancouver a lot. And, um, <clears throat> Nice inner with all the lyrics, like they used to do in the good old days. And, um, yeah. Manufactured and distributed by Mushroom Records. I should go by there. 1234 West 6th Avenue, Vancouver, BC. I don't even know if it's still there, but... Um, yeah, Heart. Heart. Dreamboat Annie. I guess a, a concept album. Ah... Uh, this is one I've been looking for just to get a nice clean copy. This is uh, the B-52's Wild Planet. Um, this had uh, blah, 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 Private Idaho, which is one of the funnest songs in the world. There's the band. This is when they were still a five piece. And um, this is a US 1980. Um, I haven't listened to this yet. Um, I used to have this on cassette back in the day. Nice uh, B-52, beautifully clean copy, so that was the reason I bought that. And um, who doesn't love some B-52s? Right? Uh, this is one that I never had heard or have, and I listened to this yesterday, and what a great album. You know, we often talk on the vinyl community about best debut albums. 
And um, wow, this is uh, this has got to be right up there. This is a really good debut album. I didn't realize their first album was this good. I really, really like this. This is Cheap Trick, self-titled Cheap Trick. They already have the cool logo. I don't know who did their artwork in the beginning, but uh, it's just on the Epic label. And um, I don't think there was a single off of this. I don't even think it cracked the top 200. But um, this is a really good album. Uh, the whole thing was really good. Um, o Candy, I guess, is the big... Maybe if there was a single. Yeah, cheap trick. Um, this is this is used. Um, this is uh, Saint Etienne. This is uh, the best of Saint Etienne. London Conversations. This is a double album, four sides. Uh, Saint Etienne was. Um, this is from 2008, I should point out. They came on the scene in London in the 90s, uh, like around, uh, I think, 90, 91. Um, and they uh, had a cover of Neil Young's Only Love Can Break Your Heart, which became a local hit uh, in the London club scene. And um, they took off from there. It was meant to be just a fun side project, um, Maura Lambert, who's the girl, um, they just kind of happened to pawn her. The two, uh, gentlemen, which I don't know their name, um, Stanley and Wiggs, I think is their last names. Um, they were just like into electronica, making making music noises on old computers and stuff. And uh, they happened upon um, Mora and they became a band. And uh, this is a hard to find. This is this is worth a bit of money, actually. This is, um, you know, uh, a greatest hits. This is a, either a French or a German pressing. Let's have a look here. You can never find these things when you're looking for them. And I was like, okay, yep, yep, good to know. Gotta know that. I'm gonna say it's German. Um, great sounding record. Just nice clean label. And um, if you like, you know, I, I, I can, you know, like 90s electronica, some of it I love, some of it I... I don't care for it all and this is one that I just love and this is a really good overview of their career any of their albums were worth listening to and picking up okay these are all new vinyl releases um, this is the Bare Naked Ladies this is uh, you know one of our great Canadian bands who made it big as we like to say in Canada uh, this is their greatest original hits original stars uh, this has everything from uh, Gordon, um, right through to, I guess, what would be their Grinning, Grinning Streak? I guess is their last album on here. And uh, yeah, it's got, it's a mix, you know, it's kind of one of these false advertised albums because it takes a sprinkling of their greatest hits and it adds in the singles from their latter albums that weren't really hits, to be fair. Um, you know, this band in its heyday was fantastic. I saw them live many times in Vancouver. And, uh, you know, um, Stephen Page uh, and Ed Robertson are the two co-founders, singers. And, you know, unfortunately, Stephen Page hit a bit of a low point and you probably heard about in the paper, he got caught in a house with 
drugs and the whole nine yards and uh, he was fired from the band and the band still continues on this day without him. They're nowhere near the same band. I personally think Stephen Page was the Bare Naked Ladies. Don't get me wrong, I like Ed Robertson and you know I think together obviously they're fantastic and uh, but the quality of the songs is not the same without Stephen Page and um, but yeah you know if you just want to throw on a record this was on sale so I thought yeah I'll get it it's just uh, it, it's actually recorded really well um, it, it was actually cut um, yeah it was like a lacquered cut so I'm assuming um, there was some uh, care put into this so yeah bare naked ladies this was one that I missed uh, my store had already sold out of Voodoo Lounge when I picked up uh, the other two last week. Um, this may be the better of the latter albums. Uh, I mean the single, the single alone Love is Strong is is a very good song but there's a lot of you can feel the stones in this you can feel the um, do my cover You can feel the, um, you know, a feeling of the Rolling Stones in this. Like there's, it kind of comes through and um, yeah, it feels natural on this album. Voodoo Lounge. This is an exciting one. This is uh, the anniversary of, I think it's the 60th anniversary of Coltrane's Giant Steps. On Atlantic Records. I didn't realize this was coming out. I just saw this boom in the new releases. And I was like, oh, I gotta get me that. Um, they've done it um, as the original record one is the original album, and then record two are the outtakes. It's packaged like the original would have been, except obviously it's a lot wider. You get a poster of the infamous front cover. Um, you get a book lit with some, there's one really great photo in here. A lot of, lot of writing of course. But some cool photos from the time and uh, Great one. I can't figure out if this is cut from analog or if it's a digital version. It doesn't say anywhere, which makes me suspect that it is digital. I've even watched a couple of um, videos on it on YouTube and the same question has come up. So nobody seems to know. The label is great on the classic old Atlantic record. Um, however, not knowing what it is, it does sound really good. I listened to it yesterday and I'm super excited to have, I only had a, you know, like one of those $20 versions of it on vinyl before. Um, and we're gonna end here with two albums by Fleetwood Mac. Uh, first is uh, Greatest Hits. Um, this is from the Peter Green era. And um, this is a uh, Music Matters release, so it sounds fantastic. It's on uh, black vinyl. And um, yeah, this is the best of the first three albums and the singles of that Peter Green, Danny Kirwin, um, uh, blah, 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 who else am I thinking of here? Jeremy Spencer, and of course Mick Fleetwood and John McVie. There is a documentary on Peter Green on Amazon Prime. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. And um, 
Yeah, this this is beautiful. It sounds beautiful. It's got all the big songs, Albatross, The Green Matalishi, Black Magic Woman, Oh Well, Part 1 and 2, Shake Your Money Maker, uh, Need Your Love So Bad. That's a brilliant song. Um, yeah, there may be one song with Christine Perfect. I, or actually, I think she did play on the second album as Christine Perfect. This is before her and John hooked up. Yes, I think she did. Um, anyway, just a beautiful best of uh, on, on pristine sound. Uh, music on vinyl just sounds amazing. Really, really good. And then lo and behold, this was just released. This is a mini box of Then Play On, which was the third uh, and last Peter Green album and uh, I was thinking are they going to do the first two but then I realized there was a label change so they probably starting with this one I know they've got that new box set out from 69 to 73 or 4 so this would be the first album in that series so I'm assuming this is why this is the starting point um, this is a double album. It's in a beautifully packaged, so let's go through. You got the nice hard cover. Uh, you go right into the attached booklet. Again, with some great photos. Peter Green. There's the band. That was with Back to the Five. Uh, Jeremy Spencer, I guess for argument's sake, doesn't contribute a lot to this album. Um, John McVie there. So nice, nice write-up, nice biography. Um, and then you get into the album, so you've got... Um, it's on double vinyl. This is um, cut by Kevin Gray. Um, so it sounds outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Get that ring light out of there. And uh, yeah, even with the poly lined paper, just a lot of care and beauty put into this. It was, I think it was around 70 Canadian dollars. So, you know, not cheap, but um, beautifully done. And if you're a fan of early Fleetwood Mac, of Peter Green, um, yeah, highly recommend it. Then play on. So yeah, nice little selection there. I was pretty happy about that. And uh, we've got the record store day coming up this Saturday, right? So I think I'm pretty excited about, there's the Fleetwood Mac rumors, of course, which I'll probably get that because I've got all the other ones. Um, there's the Almond Brothers at the Fillmore West. Looks like it might be good. There's uh, Roger Waters' The Wall. I'm kind of on the fence on that, but I just love the Comfortably Numb with the band and Van Morrison. That just sounds spectacular. I'll have to read up on it and see if it's been, you know, redone in any way. Um, yeah, like I say, there's just so much, so much vinyl and so little money. Anyway, guys. Enjoy your week. This is my Monday morning drop. And um, yeah, let's see what I guess Record Store Day will be the next uh, video. So adios and we'll see you then. Okay, bye. Peace, guys.